gonna miss me? Eh. Wave goodbye. Uh, my mom and I traveling. Well, there was a lot of this. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Squad up. Please unsubscribe right now because of that joke. What did your ticket say, Mom? It says I don't have a seat. And a whole lot of this. So finally, we're in Washington, D.C. Say hi to Florida. Coming right at you. <laughs> I'm dropping her off at a camp at George oh, Mason wow. University. That's why you brought that camera. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> secret service. Well, he's making himself not so secret anymore. Wasn't that funny? No. Wow, how funny we'd see each other here. It's time, and I'm very nervous, but, but nothing is more nerve-wracking than getting lost on the highway with your mom for about 45 minutes when it was only supposed to be a like 20 minute drive. So I'm ready, let's let's go, let's go. But look at my shirt, WJMZ. What else? I'm so nervous. And she's trying to pep talk me, but I am very nervous, but let's go. Oh my gosh, there it is. George Mason, green and yellow, right on. <laughs> Day one was a mixture of nerves, excitement, and inspiration. Gosh, that is a huge Einstein bagels. Let me explain. Okay, little room tour for you guys. Please. <laughs> wow. And then there's the paparazzi <laughs> that won't go away. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Mom Helps Bella because Bella is incapable of taking care of herself on her own. <laughs> I started the day meeting my roommates, Shelby. Hi. Hi. I'm Bella. <laughs> when I saw someone, this girl, I was like, nice shirt, and she laughed. Then I say goodbye to mom, and I think we both were a little sad to leave each other. Here's the game plan. We're gonna walk over to the sign, get your picture, and then come back and get your luggage. Because if you didn't take pics, did it, it really happen? happen? <laughs> oh, Shoot Patriot. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Look guys, we saw our first wildlife on campus and it wasn't a student. <laughs> Hello George Mason, here's your free advertisement. Thank you for letting me come to your camp. <laughs> Bye! Freedom. Yeah. In which we then walked to a meetup area where I learned what group I was in. Fine. I also got to meet my advisors, Chrissy and Kara. Josie, Shelby, and I played pool for some time. Before I went on a school tour of George Mason and met some people. It's rocks. Send me your location. We can focus on communication. There we go. Pretty, going pretty well. Going pretty well. What did you say, security camera? After that, we dressed up in professional attire and went to dinner. You asked me, I think the green bag, or the accents, the pink pants. When we listened to Sonia G. She was inspiring, and when I just say that, I feel like it isn't enough. Everyone was blown away at her ease with the mic, confidence when it came to admitting faults she made in her career, and the openness she had when talking about her passions. A quote I pulled was, bring the voice to the people who don't have it. Try speaking up here this week. You will get the answer, and it will expand your circle. Wanna work in film? You could be doing it now. You could be getting paid now. And the advice I have for you is never, ever, ever quit. After that, we had a color group meeting where we essentially all talked about how great Sonia was. Highlight my day though, definitely touching George Mason's left lucky toe. Just give me good luck. Great first day, great end to the night. But little did I know, it was just gonna get better from here. Good morning! Day two, day one, I don't know. Day two. Day two. Let's go, guys. Day two was incredible. Do you want to be in my vlog? So it's like talking to someone. Say your name. Oh. We started off the day heading into the city and going into the museum. Yeah, that's what it's called. It confused me at first, too. Josie, what are you about to do? I'm going to report. So they put the words on the screen and you record yourself. I'm Josephine Jack. 
You're on! Oh, maybe not. I don't know. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Um, do I have to like press the button? Yeah, oh. <laughs> False start. <laughs> You're so going! <laughs> All the exhibits were incredible, and we even got to go into the studio where they filmed Meet the Press. The only bad part about that day, besides the heat, was that later that night, my roommate Shelby and I learned that the museum is closing next year. I think it's really a shame because it is an incredible place full of so much interactive history. There's truly something there for everyone. If you want to help support the museum, I'm going to put a link below in my bio, so make sure to check it out. To be persuasive, we must be believable. To be believable, we must be credible. To be credible, we must be truthful. Let's get to work. That's us. It's lime time. Next, we listen to Kevin McCarthy's speech. It's cheesy, but true. My life changed after this speech. To see the passion and happiness on his face when talking about film was such a cool thing to watch. To see someone this excited about their job in general gave me hope for the future. But just to see him work with film was amazing enough. And as the sun set, we headed over to the White House. I'm offering 40 bucks to anyone who can get to the wall, 60 bucks who climbs it, and 140 for whoever can get over it alive. Hi, I'm Taylor Barker from Parker, Colorado. I've eaten two glow sticks. Then, loaded back up to check out the World War II, Lincoln, and Korean War Veterans Memorial. It was a great night full of beautiful sights, and I really connected with a bunch of people in my Lyme group. What is it? It's Lyme time! <laughs> Three! It's ten. Love my breakfast date. Crying. We love a father-son <laughs> moment! <laughs> On day three, we started off with Brian Lamb, the founder of C-SPAN. I expected him to just give a speech and open questions up at the end like all the other speakers. He took a different route, instead opening up the conversation to us by asking questions and going around with the mic. It truly gave us more opinions and perspectives to work off of and learn from them. Kind of energy, especially Next, we listen to Michaela Bouchard, the senior staff editor for the New York Times. She started off by telling us about the rocky start she had in journalism being rejected three times from a TV company she wanted to work with. She was optimistic and driven. I loved her speech. Just slowly moves into the <laughs> shot. Next, we went to the National Press Club and listened to Daniela Piero Bravo, a MSNBC producer and author. We got copies of her book a few days before, so I was able to read the first few pages, and her work seemed incredible. To hear her comeback story was inspirational. Oh, thank you. Is there like a... Then Michelle Giacconi, an executive producer at the Washington Post, went up and spoke. She brought up TikTok many times, but also went into a more personal, how intense and life-changing being a journalist can be. You have to think about your family, friends, and how it will just overall change your everyday life. How does it feel now that you, you're a celebrity? You know, I try to be modest. <laughs> um, feels pretty good, though. It's my pleasure to welcome Mr. Michael LaRosa. Lastly, Michael LaRosa, Director of Communications at the Democratic House. He talked about how we should have our path for life open and how politics today embraces the media and cameras more. The topic of Donald Trump even being a celebrity came up, and it was all very interesting. Something he said that stuck out was, plan to fail, fail to plan. Day three. No, where's my bed? <laughs> we started the day off on a super exciting note by getting to listen to Carol Guzzi, a photojournalist that has won four Putzler Prize Awards. Her speech was poetic and unlike any other because her message was not the be positive, you got it, journalism is fun message we had gotten all week. She told us about the true difficulties, sacrifices, and dangers when it comes to photojournalism and journalism in general. How you can get attached to the subjects of your story, but how you have to stay professional. She talked about how emotions are nothing to be ashamed of because 
it means you have a beating heart. She'd assure us that true depths journalism can take you. The way Miss Guzzi used her words was astonishing, and her photos just topped it off where everyone had tears brimming in their eyes. Something she said that will always stick with me is, weeping is not weakness, grief is a sign of love. While sensitivity is important, there's a danger in censoring reality. Then, we were all brought back to reality when the Dean of George Mason University began dropping some knowledge on us. No, but in all seriousness, Ms. Takiyama Perez gave us some great information when it comes to applying to college, scholarships, and what to do once we get to college. Oh, and what would a presentation about school be without some memes? Free them, right? You're going to network with those teachers and get amazing recommendations, okay? Yeah. Your parents got that. You're going to do the Common App. You're going to do Coalition. Not even in it. No, you keep that in there, please. No. Please. So, power we So, power we <laughs> and we can't I count, okay, thank you. <laughs> After we kind of settled down and realized the power was going to be out for a while, we went on with our activities, breakout speakers. We were allowed to choose someone from a variety of people who do different things within the journalism field. I chose to go to Casey Bumgrainer. Seeing she was a video editor in her bio grabbed my attention almost immediately. She's an assistant digital producer at the National Endowment for Democracy. She was great. We talked all about how she was a WJMC attendee when she was in high school documentary she hopes to create one day and her presence on social media outside of her job also go follow her on youtube the link to her channel will also be in the, the description below i was nervous i would choose a speaker who i wouldn't truly relate to but i really saw a lot of what i want to do and what she was talking about get away from I was my told, camera i was told hi girly pops it's 909 which doesn't seem like for an average teenager then we all came back together for our last speaker of the night, Megan Reese, the photographer for the camp. Even though the power's out, so there were no lights or microphones being used, she seemed to have a lot of insight when it came to the journalism workforce and pursuing the career you love. You just have to fight to get better at what you love. The next day was our trip to Capitol Hill, so after reviewing my questions and laying out my outfit, I went to bed. Worried, but more so excited for what was to come the next day. Uh, a few reminders for while we are on Capitol Hill today. Vlogception. scared, very scared. I think she'll be really nice, so. Meeting US Representative Kathy Castor was insane, to say the least. I don't think I understood the magnitude of what was happening until I was standing outside her office. I was terrified. But once I met her staff, I relaxed a bit and was truly ready to interview her. I actually got to go to Representative Castor when she was voting, so me and someone who works with her waited where the press and other political figures go until she came out and I got to interview her. She was so nice and it was a great experience. She even allowed me to watch what was going on on the floor, so that was really cool. I wasn't able to record anything, but I did get a few pictures and some outside footage. It was the first chair I ever sat in. <laughs> So after a pretty stressful and professional day, later that night we had a gala. It was essentially just like homecoming. We dressed up, we had dinner at a hotel, we got to take some bomb photos of ourselves, and 
yeah, let's just say Lime was killing it. Today's the day. Our beds are bare, and we must say goodbye. To Shelby, how does it feel? Tiring. <laughs> but we're still having fun. <laughs> It's our last day. I have to document every experience. I'm not strong enough. Actually, that's a lie. I probably My name's Aiden. My, I think my favorite part of the week was last night at the gala. I'm Maddie Buffington. I'm from Akron, Ohio. What I'm really excited about is spending my week with all these wonderful people. My name is Ray Wachowski, and I'm from Frisco, Texas. And my favorite part is to meet all the people in my group. I think I was really fortunate to get like the best group here, so it's been really fun, and I enjoyed everybody's company. Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm from Hillsborough, North Carolina, and I'm really looking forward to the photo trip. Brian McSweeney, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. My favorite part was walking through the city of Washington D.C. I am Josie, I am from Maryland, and my part was making 22 best friends. <laughs> oh, I'm Cassie Fulker, I am from Byron Center, Michigan, and my favorite part of the WJMC experience was this group of amazing queer people. My name is Patricia Avery, and I'm from Wichita, Kansas. My favorite part of WJMC was definitely being able to see everyone come out from wherever they're from and be able to talk to each other and relate to one another and be able to share their ideas, whether they came from a shy background or an outgoing one, and they're all very nice and genuine. Hi, I'm Cole Peterson. I'm from uh, Arkansas, <laughs> I think. Hi, my name is Sylvia Lopez, and I'm from Jackson, Alabama. And my favorite part of this week was meeting everybody and being such good friends with them. I think the worst part is going to be leaving. <laughs> Uh, okay, my name is Sydney Cohen. I'm from Pennsylvania, and my favorite part was the first day when we there was like four of us who all met in the hallway, and we were all stressed out. And then we went to Panera together, and we became friends. Yeah. Us. 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 You know she's talking about. Yeah. Hi, my name is Jacob, and I'm from Erieville, New York. Uh, my favorite part about this week is probably the people I met in the bars that I met. And I got to go visit all the museums and learn new stuff about the stuff I want to do in my life. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And my favorite part of this whole conference has probably been getting coffee every day, because you need it. <laughs> Hi, I'm CJ Watkins from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. My favorite part of this conference was that I learned I'm actually not terrible at making friends. <laughs> I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I think my favorite part about this whole thing no! were the color group meetings. Yeah, I just liked how they interacted together and um, how, how we got to learn more about each other. For some of you, this week started out as just another trip, maybe just another conference, and then morphed into something much bigger, something more transformative. As the camp came to its final days, as this video does now, I decided to pay a little tribute to my Lime group. Through tiring nights, long discussions, and early mornings, we were all there together at WJMC. And it makes me smile to still be able to talk to them and know we'll always be connected. So thank you, Lime Time. But more importantly, thank you, WJMC, for this. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, It's lime time. You can't see it, but it's lime, it's time. lime time. It's lime it's time. time. Okay, three, two, one. Wait, <laughs> Wait, I can't. Mm, it's too early. Last night. Aiden. <laughs> Aiden just walked in. <laughs> Who's two? Katrina. I need help. Yeah, I literally carried my luggage to the sixth floor. I'm too I am Josie. I am from Maryland, and my favorite part... Wait, you gotta stop. <laughs> it's just in the bag, like... <laughs> Name? <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
Love you guys. Safe travels. Congratulations.